So I'm super excited today to introduce you to Heather. She is very well known along our coast and uh, just recently partnered with us with EXP. I'm really excited what the future holds for her and for the organization as a whole throughout our marketplace. How are you doing today, Heather? I'm doing good. I'm awesome. excited to talk. I've, I've been uh, doing some more diving deep into the EXP enterprise, so I haven't learned it all, but I'm excited about it. Sure. Yeah. It's, I've always found you can always be a sponge in this real estate journey. And I've always focused on being adaptable to what the future holds and, and uh, not being stuck in one way. So I appreciate you finally taking the time to do the due diligence and start looking at the opportunity that EXP offers on so many different levels. Yeah. Can you share with us a little bit about your backstory of when you first got into real estate and what did that journey look like for you? Sure. Um, I was the regional fitness director of Gold's Gym uh, here on the Emerald Coast for six years, six, seven years. And uh, of course, I had a lot of clients that were realtors and I had flipped houses prior to that when I got out of college and they had encouraged me to go ahead and get my license and jump back into it. And I thought it was a great idea at the time. And that was 2014. So I joined Keller Williams initially. Uh, they had education. I'm kind of an education guru. I love taking classes. I probably took five uh, contract classes and I was in everything that Keller Williams had initially um, for about what, 30 to 60 days. So. Yeah. We find a, a lot of times when, you know, agents join real estate, they expect for it to just happen. And it really takes a lot of focus on education and growth and not just one source, but from all over people that you work with that, uh, um, your customers and getting correct, you know, constructive criticism from them, and then just di diving into books and learning. There's there's so many different things to learn, and it never stops. I've been in the business for 20 years now, and uh, you always want to be the dumbest one in the room. Yeah, that's when you know you're learning things. Uh, it, you know, as you know, real estate offers a lot of different opportunity in this business. Could you share where you feel that your niche is, or where some of your passions are directly, uh, in the type of real estate business that you're most focused on? Sure. So initially I didn't have a choice, but to just sell whatever I could. So I had about 30 days left of income when I jumped into real estate. So I got something on a contract actually that weekend and I closed 30 days later, which I know is very rare. So initially I was just trying to sell as many houses as I possibly could. I needed, you know, the money obviously to grow the business, but I also needed the money to live off of. Sure. And so um, initially it was just all about production goals, just as many units as I possibly could, whether it was listing or uh, buyers. And then uh, I have a passion for flipping properties. Like I said before, I had read a lot of Robert Kiyosaki books and you know other wealth building books in college. And so I was definitely interested in flipping properties. So the investment route is what I have taken since then. So that and then new construction. So I represent a builder as well as a bunch of investors when it comes to buying Airbnbs, flips, burrs, that sort of real estate. I've been really inspired by watching you. Can you share a little bit about some of the event workshops that you're having uh, been having lately about teaching other people on how to invest in real estate? Oh, absolutely. So um, in January of 2020, we started an investment group and we meet every single month. I just threw it out there on Meetup and threw it out there on Facebook. And we had about 40 attendees and now we're up to 60 to 70 every single month. Um, so now it's sort of, uh, if you build it, they will come and they've come and, and they are hungry and they want the education. And so every single month I'm looking for additional people that can add to uh, the um, wealth of knowledge when it comes to investing in anything small or big. So we've got uh, educators around here that have multifamily. We have people that just flip properties for a living. We have people that have, you know, 30, 40 units, anywhere from people that just started all the way to 20 years in the business. And we're bringing uh, people that are in the real estate um, investment world, even throughout the whole state to this area um, to educate and just network and mastermind. It's pretty one awesome. Of the, one of the awesome things about being a realtor is you can have your finger on the pulse for your own personal investments as well. And uh, we were just actually doing a course today, just teaching people how to really dive in to see where the appreciation potentials are and where things are growing at a certain ratio. And and diving into actually taking the leap of faith in the investment portion of just the real estate sales uh, side. I think a lot of agents just focus on sales, but the fact that you 
are multifaceted into some different layers. Uh, as you know, they can be a, a very um, rewarding career path in the investment component in our marketplace and really throughout anywhere. Um, when did you first start hearing about EXP and, and what made you curious about it? So I, I guess it was about three years ago I started hearing about EXP. I, did, I was so busy, I didn't really dive into it then. And uh, I ended up moving into my own brokerage. And um, of course I was looking at it then because you're kind of comparing what you have and what you have to offer other agents. And as well as, yeah, I wasn't gonna be an XP or a Keller Williams as a boutique broker, but um, I wanted to see what was out there. So I kind of looked into it, um, I guess you would say as a little bit of a competition. Okay, what's out there? When somebody comes to me to speak to me, about my real estate company, I need to know about what other real estate companies are offering. So, you know, we can talk about those things. So that's, that's how I initially um, looked into eXp. And of course, uh, I Googled a bunch of things. And then um, as I moved into the brokerage and started spending a lot of my time managing the, the company and on the business side of things and less on the production side, then I really started looking at it as, wow, I, I really have to position myself and my brokerage or my company where other realtors can grow their business. And I wasn't that place. Um, and so I started looking into EXP for that reason. And it's interesting that you say that because, you know, you and I first started talking about it about a year ago. And um, that's what I came on in 20. But the year previous, I was having reservations about what direction I wanted to go. I think a lot of times, you know, this dream that's painted is, you know, be a top performing agent to grow a team to jump out and being the broker owner. And, and that was my dream as a child. And, and I did it. I, I'm glad I took the leap of faith, as I'm sure you are as well, because yeah. you realize really quickly what that dream looks like at times. And it creates a lot of state administration, uh, a lot of liability, a lot of different layers mm -hmm. that in so many ways take you away from your passions, which is selling real estate or teaching other people how to sell real estate or investing because you do become an admin to the state. You know, all I've ever known is being a team and being the broker was the next best thing, I thought. But at that time, it also took away my freedom in a lot of ways. Yes. And EXP opens up the doors in a lot of different realms. And I think it does, well, I know it does uh, really well for independent agents. Um, also, for people that are trying to build a team, you can leverage it faster. And, and surely for people that are trying to jump in the place of being the broker owner, it definitely puts you in a path to build faster momentum with less constraints and you get to surround yourself by a lot of people feeling the same way. Uh, since joining EXP, uh, what is your vision for the future? So I, I definitely love the fact that all the teammates are <laughs> reaching out to other agents, um, everybody in EXP, whether they are a part of our system or, you know, in our state, they've all been very welcoming to their questions, um, helping them gain their niche in the market, which, you know, as a broker or owner of any company, you know, I think that the, the best part of that is watching other people be inspired and, and getting motivation to increase their business. And that has just been absolutely amazing. And so I love the, the mentoring side of EXP. I'm definitely going to be diving in and learning how I can be a part of the education um, just because I've experienced a lot. And I definitely want to give back in that area. Um, I've had some people on my team that have been able to grow their own teams. And um, I feel like learning the EXP model to help them grow their teams is, is that's where I'm going with that. And then really focusing on, um, you know, how to establish the, the wealth of real estate for me, uh, for my family in the long run. So looking at the passive side of things and how to build that legacy and really how to, how to systematize this business. So I'm not working every single day for the rest of my life, sure. you know, start seeing that benefit. And yeah, it's, um, you know, for me, it, it was looking at the path of real estate you know, it's a grind. It's a hard grind. I've been doing it for 20 years. You've been doing it a long time. And, you know, when you look at your path as a real estate agent, there's not really a retirement plan for agents. And, you know, a lot of people have the, you know, idea of what EXP is before ever doing the due diligence. And I was the same person. I was a big resistor of EXP at first because I was so prideful of doing my own boutique brokerage. 
But outside of my own personal investing and real estate sales, I didn't have a additional passive revenue opportunity. I didn't have a stock portfolio. And I think a lot of people think that that's all EXP is, is, you know, just a bunch of agents that become recruiters. And it's so far uh, beyond what anyone thinks until you do the due diligence. For me, the most, the thing I'm most passionate about with this company is that the level of collaboration that they have, I've never been a part of such a huge organization there is no ego. Everyone becomes entrepreneurs of their business and they're willing to share on levels that are very deep. We just had an event locally with other top team leaders and, and EXP independent agents and even sharing ideas in our local market with each other because we all share a bigger vision uh, was really huge for me. Um, you know, I, I encourage everyone that if they think they know what EXP is to really stop and take a deeper due diligence on what the opportunity provides because right now you know from a production standpoint they're the number one producing private real estate company in the nation they're one of the top out of our fr all franchises and they're not a franchise mm -hmm. uh, but best of all it connects like just like the situation with you and me i've always been inspired by your work this is a way that you didn't have to join my direct team for us to be working together yeah. and we're in a partnership role uh, now with exp and the growth opportunities that this delivers. And that truly is the beauty because as you build that opportunity, uh, they pay you directly versus a franchise. And um, that's pretty special. There's nothing really like, like that out there on this level. And I'm excited to see what, where it continues to grow, which is growing at a rate faster than the real estate industry has never seen before. Yeah. And I was, I got to tell you, I, I bought stock before I was even, <laughs> before I was even a part of EXP. So right. I believed in their business and I understood that it was growing and I understood that it, this is still the beginning stages of this company, you know, this very innovative company that has teamed up with, you know, software, uh, the, the KV core I was actually using at my brokerage. And I was so happy that EXP was doing that, but it also told me that they were about the future, that they were focused on growth. They were focused on the needs of the generations coming. And I've got five children. And so I want to be a part of a company that is forward looking, that they are preparing for, you know, the innovation that's already taken place, um, technology, the, 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 um, oh gosh, the words, I'm thinking of sky slope and that's not it. Um, but just being able to be virtual, you know, going yes. into the different Regis offices and, you know, being able to connect now investment wise, I can sell properties and partner with people in other states and other countries. Mm -hmm. um, so that is what I look forward to. You know, we're not just thinking about you and I, I mean, you've got a whole team and then they've got kids. I and mean, that's the, the benefit of this business. You're a generation you know, realtor and you right. know, your parents were in this or your grandparents were in this. And, you know, to me, that's like, that's what I want to see my family, my kids and their kids um, benefit. From. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's a, what I love is what you build is also available to your children. You know, everyone has the idea, this grandiose idea of let me sell my brokerage. And although that could be an opportunity, what happens at times you're banking on the fact of how much someone's going to pay on retention of the agents that she built. And in this case, you know, that passive revenue component that you're able to build is willable to your children as long as they, someone gets a real estate license within 12 months. That was really important to me. Um, and then just the ability, uh, as, as we discussed, is having so many outlets to build education from and everyone's willing to share on that deeper level. Um, if you're thinking about EXP, uh, you're curious, I think there's a lot of people that are curious out there. I would love for you to speak with Heather and speak to her about what her journey has been and what the future holds. Um, I've been able to meet her team uh, and have some meetings with them. They're all exceptional. Uh, but reach out to her, you know, it's, uh, we're not here to make you feel pressured into anything, but I can promise you, if you start doing the due diligence, you, you, you actually try to poke some holes in it, you'll realize that there's very few and that our future is changing. And if you don't think that tech, global tech business is not going to infiltrate the majority of industries out there, uh, you're just not paying attention to what's happening. And I'm really proud to be a part of a company that is on the front of that turn versus behind it. Um, excited, excited to be in business with you, Heather, and look Thank forward you. to what comes from here. And, and um, it's exciting times for sure. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you.